Welcome back to another episode of A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care. I'm Emily Bennett here with Matt Bradley. And Matt, you were in addiction for 12 plus years in and out of treatment yep. um, centers. What really led you here to Addiction Recovery Care? Well, I didn't lead myself to here. I was kind of not forced in it, but was uh, I was court ordered to treatment at ARC. Uh, I had uh, overdosed while driving. Uh, wrecked my car and uh, luckily no one was injured but myself uh, and ultimately uh, led me to jail and court ordered through Boyd County Court. And I'm sure I mean you weren't thinking it then but being court ordered was probably one of the best things that happened to you. I didn't think it was at the time. I couldn't wait till the deadline hit and uh, just slowly through time I realized how much happier I was and I continued to go to the next phase, continued to the next phase, and ultimately led up to a year. Now, what kept you, and I mean, you were in and out of so many other treatment centers, what kept you going here at Addiction Recovery Care? Probably uh, the purpose of the mission, I would think. Um, like I say, I wanted to uh, end date my treatment as soon as possible. And I kept seeing uh, people advance in the job opportunities. So one of the things uh, I think that kept me uh, in treatment was the opportunity to have full-time employment. Uh, I'd bounced from job to job numerous times, uh, had no gainful employment, um, and the opportunity uh, was presented to continue my treatment uh, and then ultimately get hired on full-time, and it just blossomed from there. What would you say to someone who was court ordered to treatment or a loved one who maybe Casey Laud, their family member that's kind of nervous about that, what would you say to them? So I think what I would tell the person that's sitting in treatment was give it one more day. Um, I continually heard that throughout uh, my treatment process. Every time that it got hard, every time that it got tough, uh, you know, give it one day, think about it, give it some more time. And I, I think that that would be the one thing that I would say, just, just continue, work the process uh, things will get better. And look for a treatment center that gives you those opportunities afterwards. It doesn't just send you off on your way after 30 days. No, that that's that's completely true. You know, the crisis to career, I mean, it, it really is. It pulled me out of crisis. Um, you know, I overdosed, flipped my car. Um, it, it was a mess. And I can't believe, you know, a year later, I was getting a check for a full-time, uh, full-time job. I remember I, I held it for about a week because I didn't want to cash it. Um, and then the opportunities, you know, uh, you know, we're a growing company. Uh, back then, we were uh, we were we were growing and opening uh, new facilities, and just the opportunities that are laid out in front of us just gave the opportunity for growth if you were willing to to work hard. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Matt, and the work that you're yeah. doing here at Addiction Recovery Care. And we'll send it back to you in the studio.